ago in a distant land, I, Aku, shape-shifting ma- What? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, what's that now? Uh, we ain't talking about, uh, Aku? Oh, Akua Ba. Well, then, that's a totally different story. Hello, my friends. Let's get into the story behind one of Africa's cutest artworks, the Akua Ba doll. To do so, we're heading to Ghana to hear a myth of the Akan peoples. Long ago in the distant past, there was a woman named Akua. This unlucky little lady was barren and could bear no children. She wanted desperately to have a healthy baby like the other women in the village. So one day she decided to contact a diviner. He explained to her that she needed to commission a carver to sculpt a wooden child for her. This wooden doll had to be taken care of as if it were a real baby. Her responsibilities included tasks such as carrying the doll on her back and symbolically feeding it and giving it drinks. During this time, some of her fellow villagers mocked Akua and called the doll Akua Ba, meaning Akua's child. But they stopped laughing because one day Akua finally gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. Ever since that day, many women have followed in Akua's footsteps and have taken care of Akuba dolls of their own in order to help them give birth. I hope you enjoyed today's story, and I hope you like the 3D creation we have on screen. I figured it would be fun making a 3D Akuba doll, and this is a unique one built specifically for the Kugali channel. I decided to go with the Fonte style head. So maybe I'll do a round one in the future. And although most of the Fonte variety of Akuba that I have seen do not have arms, I decided to go ahead and give it some arms because this, after all, is a custom Akuba. Speaking of customization, I decided to emboss an Adinkra symbol onto the sculpture's forehead. It's known as Nya Onim no Suya Uhu. The meaning of that is, He who does not know can know from learning. So in other words, this is a symbol of knowledge and lifelong education. I went with this symbol because I felt it was appropriate for a baby, since he or she has many years of education ahead of him or her. Now even though I said him or her, it is actually very important to note that every genuine Akuaba doll depicts a female. The reason for this is because a Khan society is matrilineal, so expectant mothers prefer girls who will perpetuate the family line. After the Akuba has fulfilled its role, it is often brought to a shrine as an offering to the spirits who are intermediaries between the unborn and the living. That said, sometimes the Akuba is kept by the family as a sort of memorial piece. It can even be used as a toy for the child. The Akuaba, what with its wonderful abstraction on the human form, has always been one of my favorite African sculptures. So I'm glad I had this opportunity to create a 3D model for all of you to see. Alrighty, let's look at our final Kugali Akuaba design. Thank you for watching, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more.